Hello. God bless you all. God keep you in peace, in happiness, in joy, and away from negativity. Amen. Today I would like to answer the question uh, which I used to have doubt about. How can uh, a virgin have a baby without uh, contact with a man? And uh, with a man. And so uh, I want to address that. Uh, the Virgin Mary. Uh, we will be reading from Luke one twenty six through 35. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent to God, sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered that sort of greeting, what sort of greeting he, it, this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? Hmm. The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come up on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of Man. With that being said, there is, this word is called pavogenesis, which means virgin creation. It's uh, animals that can reproduce without a mate. In 2008, after a black tip shark died, an autopsy revealed that she had been pregnant with a pup, a baby shark resulting from pathogenesis, as reported by live science. The short named tidbit had been in captivity for eight years and had no contact with male sharks during that time. DNA confirmed the pathogenesis hypothesis. That shows you how great God is that he did it then and he shows us how great he is by the pathogenesis of animals in the shark and in the commando dragon. This happens, and also with the bees, which can give birth to uh, give birth to worker female bees, and also gives birth to males. God, who created the heavens and the earth, who is beyond numbers and above and beyond measurement was tired of his creation killing one another and lying. So to better understand himself, his creation, humans, he impregnated a young woman. He sought to give her a heavy, heavier dose of his spirit. And she gave birth to himself, Emmanuel, Yahweh, Jesus. Jesus did not just endure the beating and torture for us, but also for himself. Since he knew no pain, he was unaware of suffering. That is God. God was unaware of what human flesh can endure. If Jesus had been an ordinary man, he would have died an hour and ten minutes into his beating. That's my hypothesis. But he endured the pain and suffering, not just for us and himself, to learn of himself, his creation, but he also observed the inhumanity of man, the self-will of man, the evilness of man, to beat and torture an innocent man, betrayal from Judas, once friend, turned enemy. He watched Peter, who loved him, deny him, deny knowing him three times. He watched love turn to hate. He watched himself die. Wow. <laughs> we can't do that. And observed himself resurrected. Awesome. 
one man or one man or woman can what human being can ever say that they did this? No, no human can ever say they did this. None. That's God who can create within himself and call create something out of himself and then call it his son. That's powerful. None, none, not one of us. We need to be obedient to Jesus Christ. For he loves us. He conquered death to show you he's alive and he's present. With that, I want to say God bless you all. God bless all that hear and God bless all that do. We should be obedient. Being obedient to God and to his ways and listening to his word and studying his word for ourselves will teach us to be better people, better Christians and better for society and show children the right ways to live and, and teach our children to love God and to love Jesus and, and, and be obedient. And that would stop a lot of this killing. That would stop a whole lot of killing. We would always have murder and we would have violence, but we can cease it being so prevalent as it is right now. If we get in the word and we be Christians and we pass the word of Jesus' love and and, and and his passion and his concern for us. God is good and God is great. God bless you all. Bye-bye.